Dirty bombs, biochemical weapons, it's a whole new world for police, firefighters, and other emergency responders. Now they have a whole new weapon to help keep you safer. I'm Laura Evans. I'll tell you about it coming up. A scare of another sort today, signs of bioterrorism in a postal facility. A suspicious powder discovered inside a postal center in Tacoma, Washington today. It spilled out of two letters addressed to police. Hazmat crews were called in, dozens of people forced to evacuate. Field tests originally indicated the powder could contain traces of the toxin that causes botulism. Follow-up tests, though, were negative. Ironically, this distribution center right here, one of 14, scheduled to test a new anthrax detection system coming in June. A similar scare in southwest Florida today. White powder fell out of a shipping container coming off a FedEx plane in Fort Myers. Six people were exposed and hospitalized as a precaution. Initial tests on the powder there show that it was harmless. Well, harmless or not, it is a delicate situation for emergency crews. First responders sent to those scenes to investigate. They often don't know what they're dealing with at first. With the nation on elevated alert, a computer system kit is now helping to dilute the danger. Dirty bomb detectives and biochem investigators are getting some life-saving help from a Virginia company. Fox 5's Laura Evans joins us now with more on that story. Hi, Laura. Hi, Tracy. Uh, when emergency crews walked into the Hart Senate office building here in 2001 to investigate the anthrax incident, they didn't know what exactly they were dealing with. They'd had their training, but a tool they were using made their job a lot easier. That tool was made by an Alexandria company, and the company is now getting calls from all over the country. Stepping into the hot zone, these are the first responders called in an emergency to investigate what could potentially be a biological weapon, chemical agent, or even a dirty bomb. A tool out there now is making their job a little easier, the community less vulnerable. It's called COBRA, the Chemical Biological Response Aid. Gives the responder on scene step by step what does the first law enforcement guy have to do what does the second law enforcement guy have to do don ponikvar leads the alexandria based group that developed a system for emergency crews to help in a disaster more quickly and effectively say victims are salivating have a runny nose or nausea cobra quickly provides a possible answer the most probable class of agent that might be causing it is some type of a nerve agent but for years, getting the product on the market was an uphill battle. Then came 9-11 and the anthrax scares. It showed that what we had been saying all along wasn't so far-fetched. Here in what's called the War Room, Brad Gardner directs development of the system, compiling all the information a responder needs to do his job. You really speed up the time uh, it takes to get into that hot zone and rescue somebody or start taking corrective action. COBRA was used in the Hart Senate office building, during the Olympics in Salt Lake, and now the FBI bomb squad and every major law enforcement agency has it. What makes it even more useful? Meant for emergencies, it's also meant to take a beating. Even survive a decontamination process. The tool that we've provided to a number of first response organizations uh, injects sanity into that confusion. And the people who make COBRA are constantly adding new information so that emergency responders have a new tool to develop for each, uh, each different kind of emergency. The COBRA team just joined forces with uh, students at the University of Virginia to develop software so they can deal with radiological weapons or dirty bombs. Tracy? All right, Laura. COBRA, by the way, is being used in Baghdad right now as crews search for chemical weapons there. Each computer and response kit cost $14,000.